Hey there, I'm Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so excited that you're here with me today. We are gonna make some cards. I know, I can hardly believe it myself. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, cut glass of wine, whatever your drink of choice is, sit back and relax because we're gonna make some fun, simple cards today. And I have a little surprise. Um, these cards were all designed with a sketch in mind. So for those of you who might be new and don't know what that is, a card sketch is basically a layout or a template that kind of gives you a guide on how to create the card. This is a go-to thing for me when I'm stumped or I'm struggling with my mojo or I'm just like want to make something but I'm not sure where to start. The first thing I do is I go search card sketches. So today I've created five card sketches that I think you're going to love. There is a pictures of all of them over on my blog. So there's a link below the video that links to my blog. The other thing that is on my blog and linked below the video is signing up for my paper party. That's right, it's time for the annual catalog summer paper party. And I have here a few of the papers that are gonna be included in the paper party. So what I want to preface this with telling you is you get a quarter of a pack of each of these papers and there are 16 papers total. So the important thing to note is that lots and lots of demonstrators do paper shares. So be very intentional about who you choose based on what you want. If you want less paper, maybe choose a different demonstrator. If you want all the papers, I'm your gal. If you want all the papers plus card kits to go with the papers, right here, this is the spot. So link below the video for that. And here are here is a little sneak peek of some of the gorgeous designer series paper that's coming. And like I said, it is going to be awesome. The actual event itself will be live. It'll be on Facebook. So you'll get to see that, but there's tons of pre-recorded content that's provided and everything is recorded. The event itself will be held in June, June 19th to be specific. And that allows me time to order all the paper, cut it all, package it all, make all your card kits and get it all shipped out to you. There's also a get it all package, which allows you to get two stamp sets and a bundle. I had to think about that a second. Two stamp sets and a bundle in addition to the event. So if you want that, there's an option to sign up for that as well. When you sign up at the link below, no payment is due immediately. I'm going to be uh, sending out invoices to everybody who signs up on April 26th. The one thing I ask of you is if you don't intend to actually take the party, please don't sign up because it does uh, create a little bit of extra work for us administratively to flag people down, track people down for payment. Your payment for the event is due by May May 3rd, almost at the 4th, May 3rd. And so you'll receive an invoice on April 26th and you have some time to pay it. And then you'll be all set for the party. So I'm super excited about this. Last time I did it, I had a bunch of my friends participate and do videos for us using the new designer series papers and everybody loved it. I also include giveaways and lots of other fun things. And this is something I do only three times a year. So if you haven't experienced one yet, then now is the time. The price point for the annual catalog paper party is a little bit higher than a mini catalog. And the only reason for that is you get more paper. So obviously I have to charge accordingly for that. So anyway, we are excited to have this for you. There's PDFs, there's videos, card kits. It is super fun, lots of giveaways. It's almost like a mini retreat. So I highly encourage you to participate and join in the fun. Again, link below the video to sign up, link to my blog post for everything you're gonna see today. So let's get to making some cards, shall we? Here we go. Okay, friends, so here we go. We're gonna make five cards and I am super excited to make these with you. They are all very simple and the whole point of this is just to show you five card sketches that you could use 
in your card making literally any time. So the thing is like, you don't have to use the same colors. You don't have to use the same papers. You don't have to use the same stamp sets. If you're stuck, these are your go-to five cards. So I'll explain more about that as we go through. I also want to tell you, if you go to the link below the video, I have provided a link to my blog that is going to then link you directly to my blog post where I have a printable that has the measurements for all of these cards. So it's just a basic concept sheet. There's not a bunch of photos or explanation. It's literally just a list of measurements so that you know what the measurements are. And I'll try to remember them all in the video, but I'm probably gonna forget some of them. So refer to that PDF sheet that's a printable. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with the In Bloom stamp set. I love this stamp set, I think it's really cute. And my color combination today is Gorgeous Grape, Magenta Madness, Daffodil Delight, and Granny Apple Green. And I wanna give a shout out to my team member, Sandra, who helped me come up with my color combo. Sometimes I struggle coming up with my color combinations. Okay, this is cut at four by eight and then scored at four inches to make a four by four square card. This is a gorgeous grape and it is cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. We're just gonna layer this piece down. And then we have a piece of magenta madness and it is cut at three and a half by three and a half. And before we layer it, we're going to just background stamp it with this beautiful flower pattern. Just a fun floral background and we're just using magenta madness ink. So we're doing monochromatic stamping here. And this is just gonna provide us a um, fun decorative background for this card. Okay, while we are stamping, let's talk about a few things, okay? So we're gonna jump back and forth between stamping and creating and chit chat, because that's how I roll, that's how my channel is. If you don't like that, I'm probably not the right demonstrator for you because I do a whole lot of sharing. Um, so I'm warning you now. Okay, now, next step is I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment since my ink is already open. And then we're going to get to chatting here. So things that are happening, I have to tell you about. First of all, those of you who have been following me for quite some time know that for Lent, we gave up television. So that was quite a topic of conversation in the comments below one of my videos. Um, people laughing and saying like, I could never give up TV and all this kind of stuff. So I thought I would kind of recap for you how it went. We were successful. We did give up Lent. We did we give up Lent. We did give up TV for all of Lent. And it's just about a sacrifice. We are not Catholic. So for us, it was just about like, you know, recognizing we do believe in Jesus, recognizing uh, Jesus's sacrifice for us, recognizing his resurrection, all of the things. And um, so giving me at my husband and I both gave up television. Okay, so that being said, uh, I did learn that Probably when you give up television, you need to say electronics because I will say we probably used our phones a little more than normal. Um, so that kind of ended up just like filling the void of TV at times. Not all the time, but sometimes. And so anyway, that being said, okay, we're going to quickly to the card. We're going to tape this or glue this down to the corner here just so it barely goes off the edge and then we're going to cut it off. Okay. So, um, anyway, so we did probably overuse our, our phones. Um, and the point was kind of to really spend that time a little bit more focused on our blessings and gratefulness and all those kinds of things spending more time together, which we did. We definitely did spend more time together. Um, but anyway, 
it was just kind of comical. I think that we were like, we're going to give up TV, but then we, you know, watched YouTube videos or we sat on our phones. My husband doesn't have social media, so he doesn't get on social media, but he really likes to play games on his phone. So he did more of that than normal. Anyway, it was interesting how it all kind of worked out. All right, there's card number one. I love it. I just love the bright colors. So fun. All right, let's do card number two. We're going to use Wonderful As You. And, okay, so, so because of that, there's a handful of TV shows I watch on a regular basis, okay? One of them is Blue Bloods. One of them is Good Girls. And the other one that I had only got to work, work, okay, words are hard. Uh, the only, the other one that I had only got to watch the first episode of was uh, Young Rock. So, if, again... If you're new here, I love The Rock. So um, I was very excited about his new show. And I only got to watch one episode. And then Lint happened. So I have been catching up on all of the episodes of all the things that I've missed out on. And um, I have to tell you that I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I have to tell you that I love Young Rock. It is really cute. If you haven't watched it yet, you should. Um, we're going to go ahead and just use my grid mat to line these up. And then we're going to glue them all down at one time. And Good Girls is awesome. Like, I've been watching that. We're in season four now. And I've been watching it since it came out. And it is excellent we are going back if you haven't seen it you can watch it on Netflix and we are going back and watching it from the very beginning that's not going to work um we're going back and watching it from the very beginning because my husband had never seen it I think that he thought it was going to be like a girly show and it's really not like it is good for the for the date night type move, type shows. I do not recommend it for children. <laughs> so if you have kids hanging around, it is not the show to put on just as a little FYI. Um, it's definitely got some content that is explicit and inappropriate for kids. Um, so there's your warning. But it is so good. So if you are looking for a really good show to get into, Good Girls is a great option. Um, what else is happening? Uh, Caught Up on Young Rock. Love it. Super cute. That one is like older kid appropriate. Uh, my daughter watches it. And then uh, what else is happening? Let's see. Good Girls, Blue Bloods. We've caught up on Blue Bloods. Love that show. One of my favorites. One of the things that I did get introduced to while I was on hiatus from TV, while I was in my office working and doing things, is podcasts. So I never had been like a big podcast person. And now I'm hooked. So my favorite podcast is that's not really in the center Wendy my favorite podcast is um that's not any better good lord okay I have to cut another one guys um my favorite podcast is crime junkies have you guys seen crime or listen to if you wouldn't see it you would listen to it uh crime junkies is so super excellent if you like uh, like murder investigation stuff. If you don't, you should not listen to it because it it could possibly disturb you greatly. It's all true stories. Um, like they have a whole thing on there about the Scott and Lacey Peterson thing, which some of you may not even remember. Um, I don't know. Maybe not everybody would remember it. I live in California. So for me, I remember 
the Scott Peter, I was young when the Scott Peterson thing happened and Lacey Peterson. And so um, I remember it very vividly, but I listened to the True Crimes podcast about it. Guys, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm now not convinced he did it. I mean, it he probably did. But there were just things that they brought up in this podcast about his trial and stuff that was shocking. Like, um, one of the things that shocked me the most, that I was the most like, oh my gosh, maybe he didn't do it, was that seven other pregnant women in their area went missing uh, during the time of her death of Lacey Peterson's death. So that really made me think like, maybe he didn't do it. Like maybe, like he was a crappy guy. He was a bad man. There's no doubt about it. He was cheating on her. He was a liar. Like there's no doubt about any of that. But the fact that like so many other women went missing during that time frame really makes you wonder if there was somebody else like doing stuff like that. I don't know. It was crazy. So um, if you get a chance, Crime Junkies podcast is really good. All right. So this is card number two. Don't you love it? So good. Um, all right. And then let's move to card number three, which is this fun one. This is cut at six by six right yes so then when you fold it in half it becomes a three by six card again there's card sketches photos that i've been popping up here on the screen but then there's also these are also on my blog so you can go there you can pin them save them reuse them um and if you do use them and i designed these by the way these card sketches in uh, one of my programs that I use. And so if you uh, like them and you want to use them, please do and then share, share them with me. And you can pin the card sketches to Pinterest and that will be actually really helpful for me if you pin them from my website. So there's that little plug. Okay, so the other podcast that I love is I Mom So Hard. And it's all one word. And these ladies, they're comedians. And they are hysterical. I've been following them for years. I started following them on Facebook. And then during the pandemic, they created a podcast. And you can actually watch their podcasts on YouTube. So like if you wanted to watch them instead of just listen, you could totally go to YouTube, Google or search I Mom So Hard podcast and it will come up. Now, the thing I will warn you about this is it can be, they have their moments. Like, it's all pretty, like, benign. But there are moments where it's like, whoa. Like, they, they can be a little explicit about different things. And they have some strong opinions about things that I don't necessarily agree with. But... At the end of the day, they're funny. And uh, by the way, I'm using the a happy birthday to you from this set. They're funny and they make me laugh. And honestly, I'm in it for the laughs. Like pretty much anything in this world, I'm in it for the laugh. Like I love to laugh. I think laughing is medicine for the soul and taking life too serious is just not worth it. And so having a good laugh about something really makes me happy. So if you like to laugh and you don't mind a little bit of raunch, then check them out. If you're easily offended by stuff like that, I would maybe not. Um, because they could be, they definitely could be offensive. Um, I gotta cut this guy in half and then we're gonna double him up because I used dimensionals on this piece, dimensionals on this piece, so now I need to double dimensional this one. And I just need that little back piece to have dimensionals. Okay, so anyway, that's what I've been doing. And then my daughter and I started reading a book 
called The Hiding Place by Corey Tinboom. And it's it has to do with the Holocaust and stuff. And we're only on chapter one. We have a long ways to go. Um, but we both are reading it together, like, so that we can talk about it and stuff. And it's really good. Like I said, only on chapter one. But chapter one is awesome so far. I'm going to cut an angle on this just because I can. That's how I roll, just because I can. We're going to glue it, maybe. It's not very stable. All right, there we go. All right, there's that one. I don't like it. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, this is not working out well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to glue it. Adhesive it. To this little circle and call it a day. Just like that. That's it. And it's just a little flap on this end. That's fine. Nobody's going to care. That's card number three. Okay. So, um, podcast. So those are the two I'm listening to on a regular basis. And those are the shows I'm watching on a regular basis. Uh, I do love TV. That's what I realized after all this craziness with, um, not watching any TV. I was like, I love TV and I'm not ashamed. I'm just going to own it. So it's my thing that I enjoy doing at night. I like to sit in my chair, relax, and watch TV. And I'm not going to be sad about it. You know, it is what it is. I like it. And that's it. And so, um, let's see. What else is happening? Oh, we are very excited that my daughter is going to get to have a swim team this year. So last year, obviously, COVID hit. Oh my goodness, this happens sometimes. I, I'm putting too much pressure, I think. Um, COVID hit, and obviously, we all know what happened. And my daughter didn't get to do swim team, and she's done swim team every year since she was four, and she is 12. So obviously it's something she loves. It's something we love as a family. And we were totally heartbroken to not have a swim team year last year. So swim team is back. And um, again, really quick as I'm making these, I just want you to know if you're tuning in and you're like, what the heck, where are the measurements for these cards? They are on my blog, link below the video. So please go there if you want all the measurements and you're like stressing about the fact that I have not shared measurements throughout this entire video. Um, so, and it's printable, so you can just print it and you'll have it forever. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I, it was really hard to go all year with no swim team. So swim team's coming back. They're only allowing 12 kids per age group, which is like tiny. It's a very small amount of kids. And so there's some kids on a wait list. And I, you know, I'm super bummed about that. I wish everybody could be there like right from day one. Um, but hopefully the kids that really, really want to get in will get to um, be added or something. I don't know. I think we are doing like two swim meets so far. That's what's planned. And they will just be different. Less people, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be interesting. And all of this is clearly subject to change, right? Like this is what's happening as of right now. But all of that is subject to change. So um, we're just kind of taking each day as it comes and hoping for the best because that's all you can do. There's card number four. And then this is our last card. 
Um, the other thing that we have going on is we are hoping to get to go to Maui. So it will be me, my daughter, and my best friend. And we are scheduled to go in May. Um, it is a Stampin' Up! trip. We had to sign a waiver saying like, you know, if we die from COVID, it's not their fault, basically. And now we wait. And three days before we go, we have to get a COVID test. And if the test comes back positive for one of us, none of us can go. So please say a little prayer because we'd really like to get to attend. Um, so all three of us are just kind of in this mindset of like, we'll see what happens because you, you just don't know. You could be asymptomatic, test positive, and that's it. You don't get to go. So, um, we, that this is coming up in May and we're really hoping for it, but we are going in with guarded, a guarded heart, basically, <laughs> Um, the person who's going to be the most devastated is my daughter. So I'm just, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just hopeful. And then we just found out like three days ago that once we land in Maui, we have to have another COVID test at the airport. And if we were to test positive there, then we have to be quarantined in our hotel room for the remainder of our visit. So, uh, but as I told my friend and she totally agreed, um, I'd rather be stuck in a hotel room in Maui and get to go than at home. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to pack, my daughter's going to pack some cross stitch. I'm going to pack some books just in case, you know, we get there and it's like, mm, nope you don't get to leave the room. So, um, we are prepping as best we know how, uh, essentially for this whole situation, uh, guarding our hearts, trying to not be, uh, discouraged. It's already a little bit sad and discouraging because several of the demonstrators that do not live in the United States are not getting to go. Well, all of them, I think, um, anybody who lives in another country that earned this trip don't get to attend. So that in and of itself is heartbreaking. I'm super sad because a lot of those people are my friends. Um, and I, it breaks my heart that they won't be there. So, um, yeah, it'll be different. It's going to be a different kind of a trip. It's going to be, I'm still, we're going to make the best of it and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And we know we have to like wear a mask the whole time and go through all the COVID testing and the whole nine yards. And we just hope that we make it there and back safely. And we are going to be as careful as humanly possible. Um, for us in California, Hawaii is actually not that far away. Uh, it's a five hour flight. And so it's not like this humongous, crazy flight as it will be for some people who have to fly across the U.S., blah, blah, blah. So um, anyway, that's the scoop. That's what's going on with us. That's our latest. We had a wonderful Easter. You saw footage from that. These are my five finished cards. You may have just heard Truvy bark. She's outside the door and desperate to get in and see me. So I'm going to hop off here and let her in. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was super, super fun. So easy. And you could honestly step these cards up any way you wanted to. You could um, emboss, background stamp, all kinds of options. But I wanted to keep it super simple. Bring you five card ideas that you could manipulate, change, do however you wanted to do to make them yours. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. There is a link below the video if you need to shop for any Stampin' Up! supplies and purchase them. I do have a host code right now. Um, and it is also listed below the video. It, you will, if you place a $50 order or more with me in 
during April, you will receive a uh, free embellishment from the new catalog. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll check in with you guys again soon. Bye-bye.